you've been out of the gym a month now. If you haven't been keeping up on your stretching, I can guarantee you your splits kind of hurt a little more than they used to. Um, you might not notice it. Um, they might not be as far down. Um, but if you're really working on it, good job. Um, stretching is just as important. We don't want your muscles getting tight and having issues. Um, so really try and stretch and overstretch every day. Like I said several videos back, you need to start overstretching every day as your stretch. So do your stretch, but when you would normally do like your splits, overstretch them. When you do your bikes, overstretch them. When you do your, um, what is it called? Your shoulders and cat, overstretch them, okay? Don't just do the bare minimum. Um, at this point, we need to be doing a little more and taking a little more time to stretch um, during the day, um, especially after conditioning, okay? You can warm up a little bit before conditioning, but you really need to stretch afterwards, okay? Um, you can stretch a little bit before if you need to, but you really need to stretch once you condition um, because remember, after, as I said last time, when you think about it, you actually condition first at practice and then stretch. You don't super stretch before and then condition, okay? It's kind of defeating the whole purpose. Um, so pretty please make sure you're taking time to stretch. Um, it should only take you 20, 30 minutes out of your day on top of conditioning. So really conditioning and stretch should only take you like an hour, hour and a half, maybe two, depending on your speed of conditioning, which is fine. Um, but you should really be focusing on your um, stretch and stuff just as much as you are your skills you're doing at home, your drills, and your conditioning. Okay. Cool beans. All right. So tomorrow's arm day, and I will see you all.